everyone, this is James George with Web Design Blog, and today I'm going to show you how to diagnose problems using the Firebug plugin for, for Firefox. So, I have a site here who uh, the other day I discovered that uh, the preview image for their uh, free files was displayed over here instead of being displayed in the right area. And so what I decided to do was, you know, you could look at the CSS all day and try to figure this out just by looking at the CSS files, but there's no real reason to do that when you can easily just click on an element and inspect it, and it will tell you what the problem is. So if you look at this, and I can bring this up here a little bit higher and, and show you, but what you can do is you look at the when you hover over different elements they will highlight you can see that the title highlights there and then the active class you know is highlighted there but what you want to look at is the actual div and so the image ID is file preview and when you look at the file preview div which automatically comes up when you hover over this this is the top CSS this is the most prominent CSS and then everything under it is uh, stacked in order of what is actually controlling it. So you know some CSS may be overridden. So you can see where it's overridden by looking at the top item here. So the problem was really simple. Uh, I saw that the display is set to block, and it should actually be inline block. So what's cool about this, and you can use this to uh, solve problems with CSS other than this, but you can also try out different things because you can actually edit it live and make sure that it goes where you want it to go, which is pretty cool. So I just type in inline dash, it flops right where it's supposed to go. And so I know that that is what I need to change the CSS to. And it will even tell you the style sheet that is being used and the line that is that the CSS is on. So you know that you go to style.css and scroll down to line 976 and edit the file preview ID and change display to inline block and that will fix your problem. And that's it. Now you'll want to keep in mind that if you have any kind of CSS uh, styled with JavaScript to be the most dominant CSS then uh, this little link here may link to uh, something that you, you don't recognize. So you'll have to, if you have Greenweaver or a file manager, you may have to do a search to find this div in uh, different style sheets or different uh, JavaScript or jQuery files. This really depends on how your site's set up. If you're strict CSS and you just, you know, you have your style sheets and that's it, and you kind of keep it clean and don't do any kind of styling with JavaScript or jQuery, then uh, you shouldn't have any problems. You can just go right to your CSS file and be done with it. Uh, it's really just dependent on how you set up your files. But that's how you use the inspector with Firebug, and that's how you can solve some problems easily by just inspecting elements and seeing the CSS that is affecting that element. And you can make changes live just to see how it looks when you make those changes. It's an excellent tool, and I personally could not live without Firebug. I love it that much. Well, that's it for this week. I'm James George. This is Web Design Blog.